<laughs> we are back at Just Wing It. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check this out. What is up with this? Here we have a vintage Nitro Plains, which they don't sell anymore, uh, OV-10 Bronco. I, I just came back from the Southeast Electric Flight Festival and a good friend of mine uh, sold this actually rare bird to me. Uh, there's not many of them floating around out there. He, uh, from Cali Graphics, got the, uh, the, the Cal fire markings because the uh, California Department of Forestry, that's the DF, uh, November 429 DF, the Department of Forestry operates these as flying command posts for firefighting operations. So when they have tankers and helicopters and you name it, <clears throat> Guys on the ground, they got smoke jumpers. These aircraft work as mobile command posts, so that the pilot and then there'll be a spotter slash, you know, chief in the back doing air traffic control, coordinating all that. Really, really cool. So the aircraft kind of sort of does what it did in Vietnam. It, it, it really was a spotting aircraft. It was a reconnaissance aircraft. Uh, so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this thing in the air. So let's do this. Okay, we have a beautiful day. Uh, should go well. Um, we have grass in case she she tends to float a little bit. Because I've got a bad shoulder. i got a bad wing here. So let's see here. I'm going to give her a little bit of up trim. Let's do this. It's now or never and we got perfect conditions. Let's go. Oh man, is she doing well. All right. All right, the Bronco's doing well, and uh, I'll tell you what, I think I actually put too much up trim in her, so maybe we need to get it out, huh? There we go. She's still got a little too much up trim, okay. All right, and she wants to go to the left, so we'll trim her out. Uh, I'm about half throttle right now. I'm flying her on a 3S 2200. Um, and she's not a fast ship by any stretch of the imagination, okay? But she's a good looking one and she's a unique one. There we go, John. There you go. This one's for you. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, my buddy is, uh, that's John. That's the guy who sold this to me. So this is a tribute video to, uh, an incredible scratch builder. Uh, really a legend in the RC community. John Morgan, right here. John, this one's for you, baby, right here. God, look, rock stable. Rock stable, look at this thing. Okay, still gotta trim her out. So, uh, let's see if I can do this real quick here. She still wants to climb. Okay, now we're doing a little bit better. Okay, now, now, okay, we dialed in some right. Is she doing, is she doing good still? No, she still wants to climb. That's okay. That's all right. I probably need a heavier battery in there. I'm running a real light, a 3S 2200 in there. So now this isn't an aerobatic ship, and I'm not going to do any any like reverse half cubas with it or anything like that at all. This is just a fly around and look really really cool ship. <laughs> so because <laughs> that's what it does. Okay. Um, and again. Three minutes, okay. We went in with about 95% of the tank. Um, the uh, the OV-10s were were, recon were uh, reconnaissance aircraft slash forward air control aircraft. The Navy used them. The Marines used them. Um, the Army had the Mohawk for a similar, you know, liaison. Now, although the Bronco looks like it, it could be a stole aircraft, it really wasn't. Uh, but it was rough field capable. And North American Rockwell did a really good job on, on making sure that this aircraft could uh, operate from improved strips and so forth and so on. So look at that. I mean, just what a honey. So I'm doing most of my flying right now at about, eh, I don't know, 50, uh, probably 60% to 80%. I'll do a 100% throttle pass for you right now. We're, we're in the throttle for all she's got. Here we go. Here we go. 
that's 100%. We're going to do a chandelle to the left. Um, and we've got about two minutes remaining. So let's go ahead and let's start, start thinking about landing because I don't want anything to happen to this plane. Now, I flew this plane at the Southeast Electric Flight Festival, or CEF. So I know that she floats. So we're down about half throttle right now. Um, I'm not worried about tip stall or anything like that. I'm just worried about getting over the threshold there. And then we're going to come all the way up the throttle. And there we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Timer cleared. Okay. Very good. Hey, look at this, huh? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Uh, uh, this plane weighs a couple pounds. I don't know how much it weighs, but it weighs. Look at those pilots in there. Let's go. Super or the Frenchman's Mountain back there. Sunrise Mountain back there. Look at this. Got the pilots in there. California Department of Forestry. Cali did a great job on this. So let's get this over to the. Uh, let's get this over to the uh, bench here, and let's do a pilot's debrief, or let's check. Gosh, this thing weighs a couple pounds. <laughs> Let's check our battery usage, okay? You'll notice that this comes right off, okay? The original Nitroplanes kit, uh, Jay said, has some really flimsy components to it. So he actually made his own components. He this is fiberglass. He made it himself. Same thing with the tail cone. Put the rare earth magnets in. Rare earth magnets. This is how the battery goes in this thing. Hope you can see this. That's how the battery goes in there, okay? So, let's check the battery usage. Okay? So, let's unplug. Right now the model is safe. <laughs> safe! And, uh, hope all your baseball teams are doing well oh man okay look at that 40 percent remaining i don't know if you can see this i hope you can 40 percent remaining in the tank this is a 3s 2200 a 30c battery i think it's a little light i've got heavier batteries as you can see it's not quite filling up the whole battery compartment i have a some really nice china hobby line 55c batteries it'll actually fit right in there so so yeah so let's take her out it's very very simple just do the do the velcro pull the battery right out and there you go okay uh and she a little warm not bad here's what i'm flying her on right here it's a 30c uh zop power never heard of it <laughs> but they were cheap <laughs> Anyway, we'll turn the we'll turn the box off, and there you go. Okay, um, let's put that there so we can see the markings. So hey, so Cali provided the uh, the markings for flying around my DX6, a 3S 2200, and again this is the old Nitro Planes uh, OV10 Bronco. Uh, we're flying her on some uh, some Emacs. 2822s. Uh, they're good for, I don't know, right about 200 watts a piece. We're running some 9 6 uh, E Power props. or the old uh, uh, props you can buy from Tower Hobbies, Great Plains. I like them. I do. They have these little tip winglets on them, and uh, that's a nice prop. It really is. I, I've, I used to fly a lot. Of planes with those props there. It's a 9.6, and it, it's it's a slow fly uh, style, but it it God's gives you a lot of thrust, and that's what this model needs. This model needs thrust, not so much speed. The Bronco wasn't really a fast plane, but it was a powerful plane for what it was. In fact, the legend Bob Hoover used to do a really neat routine with the OV10 Bronco. So in any event, she is a gentle flyer. I am telling you, this thing is like a twin engine trainer. <laughs> I mean, it is so gentle, it's not even, it, it's incredible. So, if if this sized Bronco will fly great, imagine about those bigger ones that they're building from Palmer Plans. I mean, those things got to fly like gigantic, 
I don't know, Cubs or something. But anyways, and there's also been some talk on the RC Group's threads that, hey, this hobby needs a, an OV-10 Bronco. And I'm telling you, this hobby used to have one. It's right here. And yes, I'm going to do everything I can to take care of this model. I, I, I mean, I'm going to do everything I can. It's, it's at a good home right now. And I'm telling you, I love this thing. And, it, and if one of the manufacturers would come out with a plane about this size... They'd probably have a winner on their hands. So, all right, enough babbling. Um, I'm kind of excited right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but wow. Hey, two thumbs up. This is the Nitro Planes. You, you know, you can go to Nitro Planes website, but you, you ain't going. It's still there, but you can't buy it. You haven't been able to buy these things for years. So, in any event, uh, this is the old Nitro Planes OV10 Bronco done up. Uh, and Cal Fire markings, I mean, just resplendent. She's beautiful in the Cal Fire markings. I hope you enjoyed this uh, flight. We're out here in, in, in fabulous Las Vegas. You can see, well, you probably can't, but the, the strip's way out there, about seven miles away. And I uh, heard a tractor. I thought it sounded like a helicopter. Anyways, we're in Las Vegas. Nell's Air Force Base is about 10 miles that away. Um, but here we are. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Hope you enjoy the time with me out here at the field. Blue skies, although they're gray right now. <laughs> Happy landings, which we had. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hey, many, many thanks for subscribing. Click the little red button if you like what you see. Click the little red subscribe button if you don't like what you see. <laughs> in any event, we'll keep bringing you unique uh, aircraft. We'll keep bringing you videos from all the flight events that I go to. And uh, I hope you enjoy what you see. In any event, cheers.